and welcome back to Spooky Season. Spooky Month. I forget what I was calling it. Saturday. Now, normally on the channel, we don't play games on Saturday. But given the special occasion of the month, I've decided to put a game for Saturday. And that game is Hunt Showdown. Normally, this game is played with friends. I currently don't have any with me. Not to say that I don't want my friends to play with me, but just a video that I'm recording right now, so I just do it now without anybody but hassling me. This is almost similar to that of a looter extractor, except for what you're looting is bounties and points, getting things like that. You can encounter real players in here like this bounty hunt mode that they have. In the signature game mode, up to 12 players playing solo or in teams of two or three get hunters they've geared up against one another to take on contracts for boss targets. We're going to be doing solo, but I believe we still have a chance to run into duos as well. And maybe even trios. I'm not 100% on that one. But you get different types of hunters that you can be. So if I wanted to switch my hunter around. Go over here to hunters. We can choose to use Peggy McCarthy. Which I just went through the tutorial to kind of refresh myself on how to play the game. You can also purchase hunters from uh, the Steam store. So this is one that we got, the Beast Hunter, and you can get them up to level 50. And I believe once you get them to level 50, tire them for a certain amount of points. I've never reached that far. I haven't played too, too much of this game. I was playing it with some friends, which is why his level is up as high as it is. And then we have uh, Giles, Refirer, I think when I tried to play this solo, this is who I used. The solo experience versus the multiplayer experience is something completely different because having more people on your team just gives you more of an advantage. Playing by yourself, however, not so much. So I'd rather play it with people than by myself. But this is just the first video experience that we're getting a solo run. And Saturday may change. May not be a solo run. May be with people. And may be a different game. Saturday can rotate into something different. Just depending on how I feel. I do like having one day where I can kind of pick and choose what I want to play. But it is still going to stick to the theme of being a spooky game. This game has a lot of zombies, a different variety of zombies like that you would find in Left 4 Dead. You can have little grunt zombies, you can have a lady who shoots out poisonous mosquitoes at you. Just, uh, I don't know what kind of insects. There's like rabbit dogs, uh, zombies with thick armor on them so it takes a little more to kill them. And then the bounties that you hunt down are usually larger zombie or monsters of some kind like there's a giant spider in here for instance and then there's this kind of monstrous zombie looking thing with a pig head of the butcher it all has that spooky vibe to it and even creeping around by yourself it can be spooky all in itself because not only are you trying to get the information you need to find the bounty and then extract out. But you're also trying to survive and not get killed by other players. So I figure what I would do is actually, instead of using a higher level character, use someone that we haven't really used. And we have a few of these rookies. And for some reason, I'm only supposed to have five, but I have seven. And I think that's because Peggy comes with the tutorial after you complete it. But I think we'll use Mitch Mick Nicole. Doesn't really have any specialties to him. 
as a large slot uh, crossbow, and I may even be able to change it. I think that's just the one that he comes with. Different types of skins. Again, you can always purchase these things. I think I got one, because when I got Hunt Showdown, it was in a bundle. Maybe we can always switch guns if we don't want to use a crossbow. Personally, I'd rather just use a pistol. This is actually where I wanted to use the pistol, is here. It's that one. And then for here, instead of using a bow or anything like that, I'm going to take a rifle. I think we'll take the Springfield. We also want to bring consumables along with us as well. Uh, let's see. A. Got a first aid kit. Melee weapon would be nice. Small light pistol that's easy to carry, conceal, holds four shots, twelve additional rounds carried. Do some throwing knives. Like a scrap metal and glass when thrown, the noise can be effectively used to distract or even divert enemies. Choke bomb exudes gas that extinguishes any flames within its radius while active, as well as preventing new fires from being lit. It induces heavy coughing. And then we have these things. I have an ammo box to carry with you. Antidotes are also nice to carry with you. I think we'll do a liquid fire bomb. Antidote. So that's our setup for this character. And I believe if your character dies, you can't use him again. You have to go get yourself another hunter. Very similar to that of uh, Escape from Tarkov, or what's the other one called? Marauders. Except for you just, you know, lose all of your loot. I'm not sure if I lose all my loot or not. We have a lot of guns. So, without further ado, let's get in the game. Yeah, see, they have play against duos, but I'd much rather just play against solos. Be aware it's dangerous alone. Let's see, competing as a solo player against teams can be difficult for newcomers. You can invite your friends or join to join your team, or find random teammates and compete with them against other teams. Play with this hunter. And there's challenges and stuff that you can do as well. Figured it would be a while before we can actually find anyone. Not really sure how long. And of course, battle pass. Uh, it ends in two days, so I didn't think it would be worth getting the battle pass, but it may be something that I will do after the two days. Depends on how long I'll be playing for. Any variety of Craig, which I'm assuming is a hunter. Set living enemy hunters on fire. Kill Hellborn, which is a type of enemy. Land shots on enemy hunters using pistol. Collect clues or close rifts. Because there is also one other mode that they have on here, which is a type of battle royale where you play as a hunter, go in, get yourself weapons, open up rifts, and then be the last hunter standing. It's a battle royale mode. So I'm going to do the searching, see if this happens to come up with anything. I really spent a long time since I played Hunt Showdown. They just recently came up with an update. So the fact that they are, have been coming out with updates makes it seem like maybe this is an active game. 
if this doesn't work out aha uh -huh, there we go then I would have switched over to the uh, battle royale that they have and we may still even do that depending on how long this takes it may just be one round or one run of video if the runs are short then so on and so forth and they could be short I could get killed right off the bat that happens I'm not the greatest at this game I'll tell you that now I have played a handful of times but I have played shooters I get how those work Looks like our bounty's the spider. What's this? It's got us to our first clue. Which is off in that direction. As soon as everything loads in. Yes. I usually do walk around crouched. See, that's the one that can send like wasps and things your way. This person catches on fire. We've also got kind of a limited amount of ammo. So it may be worth to check places. Still trying to learn the controls. Let's see if any of There's anything in Use that dark vision to try and find ourselves clues for a bounty. Oh, looks like someone already found the spider and is currently banishing them. Now, when that happens, you can see on the map where it's at. And what happens is when those get killed, it drops two bounty coins. So the player killed it. All the other hunters can see that it was killed and know where to go to go find it. So they got to kind of set traps and fortify themselves down. Because all the other hunters are going to come get it. How far away is that? That's actually pretty far away from me. It's not like these zombies drop any type of loot or anything like that. We also want to keep an eye out for other hunters. There's also this one that's just like a swarm of tentacles. That'll come after you. 
Something's going on over there. Now she's gone. Uh oh. There we go. Also, animals they can give away position as well. These little boxes that you can build ammo on. Now, once they pick up a bounty coin, they'll be able to see that I'm coming. You can kind of see where I'm at. But they're going to be in this building somewhere. She said she want to grab the bounty coin and extract. Looks like they haven't grabbed the bounty coin just yet. Maybe they did grab the bounty coin. I get around. Worry about that fire guy there. in hopes that they don't notice me. I'm assuming everything's still here.
Here we go. Picked up a bounty. That lets me see that there are other people around. All around. And they can see me as well. I just want to get out and extract. This is to where I'm probably going to die. Yep, see someone shooting it. in the wrong but Him named Slickbag. Ooh, got me good. Must have been able to see me. I did have the bounty on me, so. Got me with the headshot. But I didn't realize they could shoot through walls. Spectate. Let's watch someone who clearly knows how to play this game. So this is the other person that picked up a bounty. Rank 50 prestige 6. Played for a while. Camp my body for a bit, wait for someone else. Ah, oh, see, it was all wide open right there. So they got me with a clear shot. And they set my body on fire. Disrespectful. Either see or hear somebody. It looks like this is just like a patience waiting game. For all we know, this was the person who actually killed the spider. And instead of claiming the bounty right away, just went off to uh, stay further away and kind of pick people off. Or maybe they were already far away and picked off the person who actually did kill Spider. Alright, still seeing my body. Still seeing the coin has not been taken.
running around making sound doesn't mind. Always worried with sound that they would you know, hear me more. Checking his ammo. He's at. Nope, gonna go back upstairs. Figured maybe do a jog around and that would cause people to move in. Back in position. He's still waiting for something. Is there just people, somebody over there? Hasn't done dark vision in a while to check. But just seems to be adamantly focused on that area. And not behind him doesn't seem to check behind him because it did look like when he just looked over his shoulder there that, that that was a person over there can I switch people so this guy's moving in that's who I saw when he looked over his shoulder he's up there but I don't know if he sees him up there or not doesn't notice. Doesn't look like either one of them notice each other. It's moving so much, he just doesn't see him. Unless they're on the same team. Maybe that's why both of them marked in blue. And why he doesn't look back behind him. He definitely must have seen him. On the ladder now. We're standing right next to each other. Unless this guy really doesn't see him next to him. He's just that oblivious. Oh no, these must be teammates. So can I only switch between the two? Let's see other people. Broken metal jacks. In the La Plat mine. What are they doing? It looks like they both the other team. Have they picked up the thing? No? Oh, he's getting shot at. Something got him. Not encountering anybody. I don't know what this person's doing. Maybe going after another bounty. Because it does look like there's two on here. Oh, okay. This person. Looks like they might be where the other team is at. But it's hard to tell. I need them to look around a little. Or they see someone. Looks like they have a teammate out there. We can mess. This person. Jumpin' Jack Jules picked up a bounty. Bounty carriers can now see nearby hunters in dark side. Those are the two people that were there. Have named Slick Back and Junkin' Jumpin' Jack. Is it Slick? Stockyard. And then we go back to a pip Slick Back. And jumping Jack Jules. What are they doing?
a lot of these people too. Rank 100, Prestige 4. Let's see the other ones. Lavish is rank 62, no Prestige. Darstrom, rank 25, Prestige 1. Seems to be the lowest one here. Weist, rank 25, Prestige 1. And they don't even seem like they're really moving. They're just kind of staying focused there, and it looked like Lavish was like up top there. But I'm thinking Lavish and Darstrom are on a team. Or something. Just is here in some way. Maybe he's with his teammate. Oh, that must be who they hear. It's like a pip named Slipback. Sees him. So yeah, these two. They notice him. Can't really tell where he's at exactly. They don't know that he's just... Down on the ground. That far away from the bridge. Ah! Oh, from behind. Who got him? If name Slickback got him. Let's see, jumping jack jewels. Jacks fighting that. Fighting zombies. Just creeping around. Can I see where everybody's at? So, Split River Mill is where this person is, or Blackthorn Stockyard is what it says. <laughs> Taking on some grunts. I think that one's a grunt. Going in for a clue. Come some more grunts. Boom. What's Lavish doing? Lavish is at O'Donovan Stone. Trying to find someone. They aren't having the best of luck. Darstrom is over at the Black Stockyard. Which is where we were at and where the other two were at. Just making all the sound. Just making all the noise. See Pip named Slickback. It's at the gas works with his ally. So that red skull that's on the map must be their ally, who's dead. So these guys aren't anywhere near each other. You can actually see the lightning bolts on the map too to show where Pip named Slickback and Jumpin' Jack Jules is. Hyphen, hyphen. Lavish just moving through. Else is here. Mushroom's not there. Give name Slick Back and Jumpin' Jack Jewels aren't over there. Where's Broken Metal Jacks? Is at the Split River Mill, so they're all pretty much separated from one another. And then back to Lavish in this area. Oh, Lavish and somebody else is fighting. Or Lavish just fighting on its own. Shooting zombies. Go check on our honey hunters here. Yeah, they're making their way out. 
They're getting ready to run off. No one's going to stop them. There's nobody nearby. So they're both going to extract. Broken metal jacks. Just got uh, very badly poisoned. Doesn't look like they have an antidote anywhere. There we go. Gonna heal up at a heal station. Go over there at Split River Mill. <sighs> Lavish. Oh, going over that way. <laughs> So there's an opportunity for both Lavish and Broken Metal Jacks to run into each other. They're kind of close. He goes a little north. I don't know who's going after what or what's <sighs> happening here. Lavish is just running through. Zombies on his tail. like he's trying, I don't know if he's heading towards that extract that those other two are going to, if name slick back. <laughs> Something happened here. Team extraction. Both extracting. Coffin. They're gone. Made it. Let's go back to spectate. Now I'm dead. So, broken metal chance. Lavish. Darstrom, Darstrom's extract. Oh, he's doing something. Doesn't look like he's gonna be going after the second bounty. He's gonna try and extract. So let's watch and see if they can succeed in extracting. Oh, well, just, you know, play and keep away around there. Darstrom's gone. Broken metal jacks. Moving around now. On the outside of Oro Gordo Mine. With a sealed horde symbol on the map. Target is Kingfisher Foundry. Lavish is extracted. They're not staying. They're getting a shoot off with someone. Who are they shooting off against? Broken Metal Jacks is the only other person that's here. Who were they shooting at? Maybe they weren't in a shoot off there, just like just shoot to shoot. So with Broken Metal Jacks being the only person on this map, not knowing also that they're the only person on this map, they don't know that everybody's extracted. I guess with the exception of like the bounty people, they've taken off. But I want to say they are probably trying to get the second bounty. They only have 17 minutes left. If the bounty is there at Kingfisher Foundry, and they can just go in there, kill that monster in time, they can then go to the south and extract and get out of there. But will they do it? They're in Oro Gordo Mine, moving around, checking everything. Catching their breath. Keeping an eye out for players, even though we know there's no players around. They don't realize that they're the only ones left. I wonder if they can even see if, like, I'm spectating them. I'm actually surprised there weren't more people to go and contest that other bounty. Just gonna go right up to the dogs, make the dogs go off. Yeah. Is that a strat to make the dogs bark? So they're trying to take high ground? Oh no, they're going in where the dogs are. They're in the dog pen. 
The dogs still aren't paying attention to him. They're playing a dangerous game right now. In the dog pit. Do they have to stay in there a certain amount of time? Is that a mission to hide in the dog pit? With dogs in it? Or maybe they had to go get some water. They thought this was the safest place for them to wait. Can they even get out? Is that gate able to get opened? It's rather malnourished dogs here. They clearly have some type of uh, mange of some kind. Maybe they think they're being followed. I don't know what Broken Metal Jacks' strategy is here. They're gonna put the dog down. That's the strategy. They're, they're doing the old yeller strategy right now. This is more of the old gray. That's it. Just, they silenced it. And they're gonna stay in there. I can only assume that they're waiting to ambush somebody. But there's nobody to ambush. Everyone's gone. Do they believe that they're still being followed? Is there some type of zombie they're going after? There's 14 minutes left. They're hanging out inside of a dog... ...fence. A dog yard. I think they're stuck in there. I don't think they can actually open that up. Oh wait, nope, there's a board. Okay. They got out. Oh. Luckily, they're just regular grunts. Nobody special. Still taking their time. Still being cautious. Smart. That's probably what got them to rank 100 prestige 4. They know how to play this game. They know what they're doing. Out that way, Kingfisher Foundry must be where they are going. Looks like there's a couple of supply points. We'll see that's what that triangle on the map is for. Old man Mr. Lantern is down with a knife to the eye. It was jabbed right in the socket. Now you've got a bug in their hand. Oh, and now they have bug fish. So that bug is a scout. Checking the place out, seeing if there is any danger. Any other players, anybody that they can see. See that there's like certain traps that are set around. A zombie lady. Looks like they may have lost their bug. Looks like just on the other side of that wall is the monster that they're trying to hunt. Is the bounty target. Explosive. I think they may have taken out some birds. Pretty sure those were feathers that just flew over the wall. Bounty target is running. It does explode into flames. I've never faced this bounty target before. There's fire way over there for whatever reason. I think that may have been. The grenade that they were holding. Probably cooking it and didn't throw the time. Ooh, got fired again. Patting the flames out. Still scorching, still filling the burn. Taking time to reload. Going back to the bounty target one more time. Probably more than once. There's still a, quite a bit of health in this person. And only 11 minutes left. Which means they have to not only kill this bounty target, 
then banish it, and that takes some time as well. And then get the bounty and make it to the extraction point. Now get some good shots, get the flames. Managed to avoid getting burned that time. We're taking this chance to reload and jingle some cans. Some regular grunt zombies about. There he goes, going around. Has been his sight, grows the flames. Manages to avoid getting set on fire. He's gonna pick up a bear trap. Nope, gonna just shoot the ground instead. Oh, didn't we manage to avoid getting set fire there? It's over. I don't think Broken Metal Jax is gonna win this one. Slither of health left. Bounty target on their tail. They may be able to avoid. At least the 4th of July. You may be able to avoid uh, that attack, but it's only a matter of time. And then, of course, on this roof. There it is. Broken Metal Jacks is out. And with that, nobody left to expecting. So we can go back to menu. So well, there you have it. We watched some people who know what they were doing. You. Stuff. We tried to make our way in and get a bounty and get out of there, only to find that the whole place was surrounded. It did look like, too, when I looked through the vision, that there was a lot more than just two people around in the area. But the moment I grabbed it, they're right there waiting. Two monsters killed, your hunter cheated death, and will be fully restored. Alright. We only killed two monsters. Rewards. We got Scottfield FMJ ammo and Scottfield high velocity ammo. Hooray. So there you have it. That is Hunt showdown I know it wasn't me who won but I hope the spectating and commentary that I did was at least a little entertaining I don't plan on doing that every Saturday I'm hoping that maybe I'll last a lot longer and I can do my own commentary for myself instead of for others anyways thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next game. Well, I'll see you in the next spooky game. That's how we should end it. Goodbye.